A prophet is a representative of God and prophecy is the audible voice of God. On Sunday, the 24th of March, 2019, the man of God, Apostle Mez Mzwaketankredi, prophesied live in a Sunday service regarding a wave that is going to hit South Africa in two ways. He stated that the first way is when he saw people in camouflaged clothing out there and our people were killing each other. The second way is when he stated that he saw people and little children dying because of rape. We need to pray for South Africa. There is a wave that God told me about yesterday that is coming to hit our country. We really need to pray for our country, our beautiful country. There is a wave that is coming to hit our country. And it's going to hit our country in two ways. Number one, I saw people, policemen. You see, policemen, as a matter of fact, I saw people in camouflage clothes. And this means these are soldiers. And they were out there. And our own people were killing each other. Are you listening to me? Our own people. And this is an attack. This is an attack that has been released by the enemy in our country. And the second attack that I saw was people dying. And this was because of rain. Are you listening to me? It's going to affect almost 90% of the whole country. We need to pray for our beautiful country. Some things we cannot stop them, but we can minimize them. Note that on the 27th of March, 2019, during a midweek service, the apostle prophesied again and went deeper, revealing this prophecy in detail as to how, when, and where that this wave would take place. People can know that it's going to rain, but to know the time and how it will take place, it takes the prophetic to know that. Let us continue to pray for our beautiful country like the prophet instructed us to as it will affect almost all parts of South Africa. Let him who has an ear hear what the Spirit is saying. On Sunday, I gave a prophecy. And in the prophecy, I said there is a wave that's coming to hit our country. So we are still praying for South Africa. Remember, I said what I saw was something that will affect almost all the parts of Muzansi. And the, I saw this storm in two forms. Number one, I saw policemen shooting people. Number two, I saw people, kids, dying because of rain. Me saying it, it is because I know that's going to affect a lot of people. If you don't pray, your loved one must, might be affected or you yourself. The Apostle utters again that he knows that this wave will affect a lot of people. So the Lord has showed me this wave. We need to pray. And we need to pray specifically for Kwazunata. Say Amen. We need to pray for Kwazunata. Kwazunata, Kwazunata. Take a closer look at how the Apostle mentions KwaZulu-Natal three times as one of the provinces that will be the most affected by this wave. I will say, but why don't you pray that it gets cancelled? We can minimize it. This one, we cannot cancel it. Notice that the Apostle of God emphasizes that we can't stop some things, but can minimize them. And it will affect us towards me. Because that's where we are supposed to vote. That's what I can say for now. Put your hands together for Jesus. A number of cases have been reported in KwaZulu-Natal whereby shootings and killings have taken place in the form of xenophobic attacks. More than 80 people have died as a result of this flooding in KwaZulu-Natal when rain poured down. It is of paramount importance to note that the man of God prophesied this event almost a month before it occurred and he stated that it would take place towards the month of May and affect us as that would be the time that we are supposed to vote. And it will affect us towards May because that's where we are supposed to vote. That's what I can say for now. This prophecy was given at a time of extreme heat when no one could think of any rain.
pouring down. The prophecy has come to pass at exactly the time that the man of God said it would happen. This wave occurred on Tuesday, the 23rd of April, 2019, at almost two weeks before the national elections. The province of KwaZulu-Natal has been ravaged by this wave, with people, including children, who have died, and the death toll is now standing at over 50 people. Given the accuracy and the results of this prophetic word from the Apostle, it is evident that indeed Apostle Mays Mzwaketankredi is ordained by God and that the Lord does nothing unless He reveals it to His servants, the prophets.